A basic exercise for legs, um, as most people know, is a squat. So standing with feet about shoulder width apart, you want to imagine yourself sitting down in a chair. So rather than leaning forward, you're going to think about leading with the seat. So you want to try to come to 90, but if your body allows it, only if it allows it, you can go deeper as long as it doesn't change the positioning of your body so your chest is still upright and your knees are still lined up with the toes. A great exercise for your legs that works the entire leg is a lunge. Starting with the lunge, you want to come down. Again, similar to a squat where knees are at 90 degrees, toes do not extend, sorry, the knees don't extend the toes. Back leg is down, body is in an upright position. Chest is forward, abdominals are in. So, to turn this into a walking lunge, you would take the, your back leg, bring that forward to create your next step. So another um, really good full body exercise, although it is mostly upper body, but it does involve a lot of body parts, is your basic push-up. You want to be in a plank position. Really important, hands are at least shoulder width, if not further apart. Your body should be aligned, hips in line with the glutes, and a regular push-up would be in this position. We can modify it. For those of you who are beginners or you know have <coughs> lower back issues, to by placing your knees on the floor, so now some of the um, some of the weight is lifted and you're and it's not as difficult. Anytime you do an abdominal exercise, you are working the entire abdominals, but certain exercises will target the upper, the lower, and the obliques, which is the three different parts of our abdominals. So for to target more of the upper abs, we have the basic crunch. Hands are just by the ears and keep the elbows as far out as you can. It does make the crunch more difficult, but it's also much more effective. To target the lower abs, um, a great exercise for that is just simple leg lifts, keeping your legs straight, but of course not locked. With hands on the floor, you want to be mindful not to use the hands to push you up. You want the work to come from the core. So again, Inhale as we come up because that's where we're doing the work, lifting the body weight. And you don't have to come up super high. Raise the glutes up and down. And for our obliques, and one really great one being the yoga bicycle. So legs are at 90 degrees, hands are by the ears, and we're gonna alternate legs as we twist at the core. You really want to create an exaggerated twist to get the most effectiveness.